Assalamu alaikum. Uh, greetings of peace. This is Tumayan Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta, welcoming you to another amazing day of inspiration with our own beloved Sheikh Nanawi. Uh, Sheikh Nanawi is the resident scholar and of El Medina Institute right here in Metro, Metro Atlanta area. And uh, we are very, very honored to have him here. Sheikh Nanawi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, good morning to everybody and uh, thank you so much uh, ISB Atlanta and uh, Sister Samaya and a uh, great wonderful team that you have. Um, we're still in the uh, era of uh, Corona and the challenge we have. And I think uh, looking at uh, our uh, book and looking at the prophetic example we see lots of lessons that we can learn, especially now that uh, many states, uh, among them our state, Georgia, state of Georgia, is uh, taking steps to reopen. And uh, it's sort of uh, uncharted territory in a sense. We don't know what will happen. But it's very important that we all learn lessons and try to do good in this. Among the things that uh, al Quran teaches us and insists on it is that there's really no value in blame. Uh, we deal with situations and channel our energy into a positive thing. And to blame this or this or that for all the things that are going wrong, or if things go wrong, hopefully nothing goes wrong, it's not the right thing. I think it's important to take a hold of ourselves and then look at uh, how can we actually channel things best. For the next this is a virus, as you all know, and uh, it's not going to go away. Uh, we just have to learn how to deal with it, and we learn how, how to live and improve our lives with it. Uh, and that's why many people are afraid. Rightfully so, in a sense, but not to the point of panicking. Islam and the Prophet wasallam teach, teach us to hold our fear and to conquer our fear. Maybe to hold our loved, loved ones uh, close, uh, but not to be motionless, physically, emotionally, or spiritually by this disease. Don't let the challenge conquer you. Feel it, but own it, refine it, control it, use it. We need to react boldly uh, to situations such as the one that uh, we're facing. Um, with the clarity of mind that tells us that in the face of fear, uh, it, it inspires us to be more courageous. It inspires us to be more loving. Trouble, uh, troubling times uh, are calls for passion, for compassion, are calls for resolute leadership. Uh, I think that's what uh, this, the ch this challenge, if we were say, we are to say, ought to bring within us deeper resolve to conquer what's out there. And Islam, interestingly, interestingly, as you all know, where Allah in the Quran says, it has a view of anything that's negative can be offset by positive. So positive contribution may offset any negative, no matter how evil that negative is. And uh, I can't help it but to make this parable with Quraysh. Some of Quraysh at the beginning, Quraysh were the tribe, was a tribe that was leading in Mecca against the Prophet's reform, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And um, they did everything possible, obviously, not just stop the reform, but to uproot it, to burn it, and to kill everyone that they're able to kill. And obviously, in a tribal society, they killed the most vulnerable. Um, instead of helping them, uh, they pursued them, they killed them, they confiscated their properties, uh, targeting, obviously, in particular, the weakest among the weak. And uh, the Quran and the prophetic example um, showed us uh, their action juxtaposing the meekness of the Muslim people uh, with the pure cruelty of Quraysh. We were commanded to vanquish Quraysh's evil, really, and eliminate that kind of evil doing. 
And that happened through positive contribution. That happened when the Prophet ﷺ gave those who deprived him. That happened, uh, the vanquishing happened when the Prophet ﷺ extended a hand to those who were ready to cut hands off. That happened when the Prophet ﷺ was smiling and, and giving mercy and compassion to those who were trying to spell evil around. Uh, I think the corona itself, the disease, since it's attacking and trying to get to the most, uh, the, the weakest, to the elderly, to the immunocompromised, to people who have other conditions, I think we can take a parable there by protecting and supporting the most vulnerable of people today, whether physically, obviously, or emotionally around the world. I always say if we feel, uh, if we fail, sorry, if we fail to identify with the suffering of any living thing, any living entity, irrespective of whether it's human or not, and that includes our earth, then we have not just betrayed our faith, but we have failed the test of our time. And so we have the ability to live up to the prophetic example as an opportunity today uh, that, that we're having. Um, tensions among communities are running high, uh, here, there, everywhere. Uh, we must learn from all this a lesson that the Prophet ﷺ taught us 14 some hundred years ago. We may be different colors, different ethnicities, different backgrounds, different cultures, different religions. At the end of the day, he tells us وسلم, that we are one people. And that means lessons of interdependence. Uh, uh, the coronavirus issue now may, may demonstrate the profound ignorance of the belief that we keep ourselves safe by separating from our neighbors and from those who are in those who are in need and let everyone fight their own battle. That's not how it is. We're seeing more and more cooperation among communities and nations. Uh, sending t things to each other, uh, whether it is medical supplies or other things, but we all can do something uh, because in a world that's interconnected as, as ours, we keep ourselves safe by respecting the truth revealed uh, in, in, in science and by cooperating and working together within and amongst our communities, uh, by caring for the most uh, vulnerable amongst us and by creating a society that keeps as many of us uh, po as possible healthy, uh, spiritually strong, and helping. It's never us versus them. It's all us here. It's a profound sense that there's only one. There are no other races on this earth. There's only human race. If you don't believe me, take a trip to space, <laughs> and we will find that out. That's the only sane path. The only sane path is the prophetic path, which is compassion, justice, and humility about the degree to which we need each other. Thank you so much, and have a great morning. Thank you so much, Sheikh Nanawi. That was absolutely beautiful. It's about compassion. One human race, what can we do to make others feel better, taking care of each other? and love what you said in terms of fear inspires us to be courageous uh, we need resolute leadership and we are one human race thank you for the inspiration and for your beautiful words and we are all charged up to make the world a better place today thank you um, thank you again for joining us today and for all of you uh, we appreciate uh, you following us on youtube and if you like the work of the isb we would appreciate your financial support um, May God's peace be with you all. And we look forward to seeing you, uh, inshallah, uh, tomorrow here at the same time, the same place. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.